Hello, my name is Fernando Montalegre. I'm a senior lecturer in sensory biology, biomechanics and acoustics with the University of Lincoln in the, in the School of Life Sciences. Your most recent publication revealed an interesting similarity between mammals and some insects. Can you explain what this is? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, this is uh, basically that uh, two organisms uh, with uh, not closely phylogenetic uh, history or not related phylogenetically uh, like bush crickets and mammals in this case uh, have evolved a series of similar solutions uh, and mechanisms for hearing. For instance, uh, it is known that mammals, including humans of course, uh, have uh, three, the, the hearing in, 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 in mammals it relies on three basic uh, vital processes. One is uh, a tympanum collecting, tympanum uh, membrane collecting sound. The other one is a, a impedance conversion or, or lever mechanism, which is uh, done by the ossicles. And the other one is frequency analysis. So the second step, the ossicles in, in mammals, is necessary for impedance conversion. This is just taking the vibrations from the air to a fluid medium, the, the fluid of the, of the cochlea, for frequency analysis. So this step, the lever mechanism the, in, the, in the ossicles, is a, is, a, is a vital process there. So uh, mammals have um, frequency analysis, which is a, a third mechanism done, done in the cochlea. And we have found, uh, in collaboration with Professor Daniel Robert at the University of Bristol, as a friend and colleague, we found that the bush crickets, uh, even though they have the ears in a different place, they don't have the ears in the head as, uh, as in um, mammals, they have the ears in the leg, but they use the same uh, uh, process for, for hearing. They have a tympanic membrane that uh, responds, collects sound. They have an impedance conversion. They don't have a, a exactly ossicle but another structure that is connected to the tympanic membrane and the tympanic membrane move that structure and put the vibrations into fluid medium for further frequency analysis. What are you working on at the moment? So the idea is to uh, study the most ultrasonic uh, arthropod in the, in the planet. This is a bush cricket that lives in the, in the neotropics specifically in the National Park uh, of Gorgona Island in Colombia. This is the Pacific Coast, it's the Pacific Ocean. It's an island, it's a national park. So this is insect, uh, the male uh, calls the female at 150 kilohertz. If you think that humans can detect only 20 kilohertz, that's the maximum range. So this animal is, is just quite a weight of what we can detect. So we are interested in, in the in in uh, studying how the female is able to detect such an ultrasonic signal in the in the rainforest, uh, this is special because when you have a, an ultrasonic signal at such frequency, the wavelength is short. It's, uh, this in this case would be two millimeters, and, uh, and such a short wave uh, um, uh, signals will be uh, problematic to travel at long distances because they will reflect with all objects in the dispersing, uh, dispersing uh, path. So it's problematic to transmit the signals and long distance, especially in, in, in the rainforest you get uh, many objects like um, leaves, uh, trees and branches and all objects that you, you can find in the rainforest. So these animals manage to detect fading energy. We think, of course, the hypothesis that we're testing there is that the animal is ex uh, the, um, the ear of these insects, the female especially, uh, should be uh, ultra sensitive to detect this fading energy. So we are investigating what is ma what makes these small ears so special. These ears are um, very small actually. We're talking about here something that is less than one millimeter, the tympanic membrane for instance, in diameter. How will this research impact on modern technology? And I think that the, 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 the connection and the impact this research will have is that the ear of the bush cricket uh, constitutes sensors that have evolved 
detection capabilities that current technology lacks. For instance, uh, robust frequency analysis, uh, frequency response, sorry, highly uh, high directionality and uh, sensitivity. As explained, they're very sensitive to detect fading energy in, in, in the environment. So, as for uh, technology, uh, size is, an, is definitely an issue when it comes to technologies and the detection uh, abilities of sensors. So, in this case, the bush cricket being so small, as I explained, as I explained before, uh, is teaching us or is telling us that uh, creating sensors that is small is possible. Now it comes, the question that comes now is uh, how we're going to, to do it. So we are in, in, in that process, just to copy these uh, accurate models for, um, uh, from the nature, from nature and apply it to, to technology of sensors. Thank you, Fernando. Okay.